Okay, quick question for you guys. Do you ever think of how easy it is for you to run to the local supermarket and pick up food for that latest recipe you found on Pinterest? What if that convenience was suddenly taken away from you? Or if basic human settlements were never a thing? How would you live and what would life be like without those advancements made by ancient human culture? Let's talk about it. Are you hungry? Just look into your cabinets in your house for some of that instant goodness we can all enjoy on demand. Imagine that not being an option. Without this piece of technology, acquiring food would be next to impossible and it would be your job, your life, your sole direction. Agriculture is something not many people think about unless you work a farm, or you're stuck behind that combine going 5 miles an hour screaming at your steering wheel because you're late. Agriculture first sprung up in what is known as the Fertile Crescent about 25,000 years ago. Called the Neolithic Revolution or the Agricultural Revolution, early people started to work the land. People of prehistory were mostly nomadic in nature, but with the advent of farming, that culture started to head downwards. The Neolithic Revolution greatly narrowed the diversity of foods available. With the switch to agriculture and basic cereals, it led to a downturn of human nutrition. Basic cereals and grains were was mostly farmed, so complex carbs like nuts and protein from hunted animals dwindled. The invention of farming also spurred the invention of other technologies like irrigation and land clearing. Farming can also be attributed to the development of the first villages and communities of the like. The invention of farming was the catalyst for many things. Many technologies were developed to aid in farming and make mass production of food easier and faster. Without agriculture, cities, towns, empires would not have formed. There just wouldn't have been enough food to feed that large of a population. Where would we be today without this basic human technology? One can't even begin to imagine or imagine the implications it would mean if farming and agriculture was never a thing. Let us know what you guys think. Leading into our next human technology, as a direct result of the invention of agriculture, this may seem odd to you, the proto-city, or referred to as the first villages ever formed. Is this an invention you ask? It might seem like a bit of a stretch, but it deserves to be covered. Human civilization, culture, art, trade, writing, essentially every modern technology can find their birthplace or direct influence from the formation of towns. Proto-cities are described as large towns that first formed around 7500 to 8000 BC. There isn't much known about the culture and day-to-day -day life of those cities as writing hasn't been invented yet. What is known is that these cities being fed by farms just kept growing and growing. They became trade hubs for farmers and good merchants to sell their goods or trade items. Some instances show that rudimentary caste systems were actually prevalent in some cities. Almost all the ancient cities that formed, formed in what is known as the Cradle of Life, the Fertile Crescent, and formed into Mesopotamia around 3200 BCE. Thousands of years of culture and human life we know nothing about lost to time. The beginning of humans coming together and forming villages, towns, and cities were one of the most important developments ever. Humans became social and traded knowledge. Cities then began to form into countries, which became empires. Without this, another question we can't answer or seem to fathom. We are such a social animal now. To take away hubs of culture, how would you react? Let us know. With cities being constructed and popping up came a rise of religion, or simple beliefs of beings greater than ourselves. How did early man explain the goings-on of the seasons, why water fell from the sky, or the basic question of humanity, why are we here? Well, the next advance in technology spurred the creation of humanity's greatest construction projects. The first stone monuments ever to be found were thought to have been constructed with the rise of Mesopotamians around 3200 BCE. But with recent discoveries in Turkey, we found that the earliest superstructures of humanity dated back to 8500 BCE. Goblaki Tepe, which I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that, in Turkey, is the oldest known stone monument built by humanity. As humanity progressed, so did our ability to construct amazing monuments. The construction of religious institutions and monuments pushed human technology. Without the drive to please the gods or protect their eternal soul, humanity strived to impress the gods, which in turn helped us develop better and easier ways to build these monuments. Without the construction of the wonders of the world or the drive to do so, we would be lacking in many things. Math, algebraic equations, simple brick or cement. All these technologies are the direct result of humans trying to appease the gods and impress them with awe-inducing monuments. The technologies they used in the construction of these monuments was so great, many still stand today. Which begs the question, how is it something roughly 10,000 years old lasts as long as it can when structures built today barely make it to 100 years? Questions for another video. What is one thing that you use almost every day that really doesn't cross your mind? The first instances of smelting in human culture were that of tin and lead. But we're really not going to be talking about that much because we really don't know what ancient people used that for. There wasn't documentation because writing hadn't been invented yet. What we can talk about is the smelting of bronze and copper. Bronze and copper tools allowed for easier construction, decorative pieces, and better weapons and armor just to kill each other with. Morbid, but... The smelting of copper and bronze actually was the name of an age that defined humanity, the Bronze Age. 
humanity progressed from the Stone Age into an Age of Enlightenment. The earliest known instance that humans dabbled in the smelting of bronze and copper was dated back to around 5000 BCE. The discovery of bronze had a major impact on the lives of those who lived in ancient times. It, it literally defined an era, like I just said. The discovery was so impactful that it was used for thousands of years. It was the metal of choice for weapons such as daggers, swords, battle hammers, axes, bow tips, and the list just goes on. Not only for weapons, but personal protective gear, armor, wrist guards, shields, helmets. It was also used heavily in tool creation. Tools like needles, picks, saws, nails, bowls, cooking pots, and also horse saddles. There are just too many to list. Essentially, every metal tool that you use today was influenced by bronze tools. Copper and bronze was used predominantly into the middle age of the Roman Empire until iron took its place. Bronze and copper were, were really the first influence in modern day metallurgy. It became a staple in trade and industry for many cultures. Bronze and copper also contributed to the establishment of the trade network spanning large areas of Europe and Asia. It had a major effect in the distribution of wealth among individuals and nations. Without the first metals being worked by early men, we wouldn't have the modern conveniences at all in today's day and age. You are surrounded by metal and what a wonderful creation it is. We in this day and age owe a great debt to the early smiths of the ancient world. They laid the foundation for modern day humanity. With all these goods being created, food grown, and people with weapons looking for mass transport, humanity looked to the water. Although travel by land was made easier by the invention of the trade cart pulled by livestock, transporting goods by water was unmatched. One ship was able to transport what hundreds of carts could. This is why most large cities and empires found their beginnings near large bodies of water. We first see humanity using water as a form of transportation as far back as 45,000 years ago. This is only regarded as a hypothesis due to the habitation of Australia. It's really up in the air. Scientists really can't pinpoint a date, but they think they think it was 45,000 years ago. Transport by water wasn't really prevalent until the time of the ancient Egyptians. Used for trade, warfare, and fishing, the invention of sailing revolutionized the ancient world. No longer did it take months or sometimes years to transport goods, but now weeks. This opened trade between many ancient cultures, which begs the question, how far did humanity go? In new documents and discoveries, scientists have found traces of cocaine and tobacco use in ancient Egypt. Mind you, these plants were only indigenous to the Americas. So what does that mean? Maybe questions for another video. Sailing also offered up a new way to produce mass quantities of food by fishing, allowing for more diverse offering of food to the population. The invention of sailing was a game changer and ended up if you controlled the seas, you controlled the world. The rise and fall of nations could be determined by a navy and trade overseas. The Americas would never have been settled without the use of ships, trade would have came to a halt, and culture would grow stagnant if, if ships were never invented. Imagine if the only place you had access to was the town you lived in or were born in or the state. With a lack of ships, we just wouldn't have expanded into modern day humanity. The advances in human technology that we discussed in this video were huge. They were the base that influenced so much in the world as we know it. From the humble beginnings of simple farm life to the creation of monuments that stand to this day. It is just amazing how what humans did thousands of years ago directly impact our day-to-day -day life. If humanity makes it another 10,000 years, will those future humans look back at our innovations and feats of technology in awe and wonder as we do now? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to throw us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all of our content. This is going to be a running series, so we're going to be starting from the earliest time all the way up to modern day. So we'll see you guys on the path to finding out the inventions that changed the world.